Hello, hello. Welcome to Feywood Mead, or welcome back to Feywood Mead. Uh, thank you for joining me. I am going to attempt another banana mead. Now, granted, the first time I tried one, <laughs> it's only the second mead I'd ever made, and um, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Actually, okay, I take it back. It wasn't that bad. It was okay. I think I put like cinnamon in it. That was like a stuck mead. It got crazy. I don't know. I'm trying this again, okay? I have two pounds of Dutch gold. I'm gonna write that down because I will forget. Clover honey. I've got D47, which I'm going to warm up in my water. Hopefully this yeast is still alive. If it's not, I'm gonna use something else because this has been in my fridge for a hot minute. It won't take very long and we'll find out if it's still alive or not. All right, so what I did, I took six bananas, I sanitized the outsides, I used three of the peels and I sliced up the rest of, uh, you know, the six bananas and then I boiled them for about 20 minutes or so. I did use a full gallon of water, <laughs> so we'll see. I'm gonna have to take this down. This is a lot. It's still, ooh, it's still quite hot. Oh yeah, it's steaming. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have activated my yeast yet. It smells very banana-y. What do you know? All right, so I've got some ugly gray banana water. Well, the nice thing, honestly, about it being so hot is that it will melt my solid honey. And the reason I put this in the big mouth is as soon as it's done fermenting, I'm just gonna put the bananas in here. I'm not gonna rack, and I don't wanna over rack. I feel like I over rack a lot. And it's something I wanna get better about. I, I always feel like every single stage has to be a racking, or like I don't think far enough ahead, and I'll start with like a one of the little bottlenecks and then realize, oh my God, I should have put it in a wide mouth. And yep, this yeast is definitely still active, so I'm gonna put some of this banana mild sugar water in there. Shoot. Hmm. I think I could throw some ice cubes in here. All right, mead in an ice bath. <laughs> I'm trying. I should have checked the temperature before I woke up my yeast, but alas, it is too late. I seriously like keep forgetting to use this. It's annoying. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting, but I do. And for times like this, it is smart to have a thermometer. I think yeast, wine yeast anyway, prefer a temperature between 95 and 98.6. Now my yeast are in the ideal range right now. They are having a good time. They're partying it up right now. Oh my God, I like didn't even talk about my plan with this mead. It's gonna be like a banana cream pie. I plan on using probably lactose, vanilla bean, and graham crackers. Wow, look, at they are happy. Ooh, party time. Gravity reading, and then we are done for now. About 1.090. Cool. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Michael, for the fermenters. Wonderful. Voila, bada bing, bada boom. And I uh, will see when this is done fermenting for part two. It's been a hot minute. Let's see where this is. I hope it's fully fermented out. I have noticed that yeast does weird things to bananas. <laughs> like there's a lot of chunkiness happening in here. And this was just banana water. Like I didn't, um, I didn't add any actual solids. So I'm just gonna test it and stabilize, hopefully. Oh yeah. Oh, it's done. It's like point nine nine six uh, this should be a gallon i choose to stabilize my mead for my own sanity because i've had far too many referment and battling that oh it's a lot of course if you want a really high alcohol um mead Honestly, bananas, bananas are a good one to uh, push to the limit because they just, bananas and peaches, 
yeast like go crazy. They go crazy for them. Oh, I do want to clean my airlock because it's nasty. Oh man, yeah, this mead, when it was fermenting, it was like crazy. I mean, like you see how much space is in here? And when it started fermenting, like the next morning I came out here and the the airlock was foamy. So give your bananas some space, y'all. God, what's the ABV on this? I gotta know now. How many days has it been? 17, so it's been just over two weeks. And that's how uh, fast this fermented. This is 12, basically 12%. It's like 12.3. All right, stay tuned. So. On the 3rd of July, I added two and a half ripe bananas to this. On the 15th, I removed said bananas and added four graham crackers. I just left the mess. I didn't worry about racking because I knew that um, I would have to rack through those graham crackers anyways. And I left those in there for about three days. So on the 18th, I racked this meat into a carboy. Now, I'm a little disappointed at this line here that I did not end up with a full gallon of mead. I don't really know where my calculations went wrong. It could have been in the boiling. I boiled out too much water, but this is what we've got. So this has been sitting here for a few days. It's the 24th of July. The plan today is to add a vanilla bean. I really need to make a vanilla extract. I have heard that that is a far more efficient way to use vanillas make your own extract you can make it as potent as you want instead of throwing an entire bean in there because these things are very expensive uh, i guess i could put half of one in um, i'm going to add some lactose i may or may not want to add some wine tannin we'll see and then lactic acid uh, lactic acid is a lot i don't know smoother or like creamier than other forms of acids i did Look at some recipes, it's pretty simple <laughs> for banana cream pie. It's like crust, bananas, cream, <laughs> vanilla, you know, really, uh, really pretty simple here. It's like nothing crazy. All right, let's get started here. Uh, I do wanna taste this. I wanna see what this is like right now. Actually, I should grab two glasses. I should have a, a before and after. I kind of like that. This. Right now is not the most pleasant thing though. It does smell like bananas, so what can I say? The fruit flies are swarming already. They're coming for me. <laughs> they're, coming, they're coming for the mead. Um, I'm gonna cover that. Ooh. That banana pops though. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on. Ooh, I am very pleasantly surprised. I do wanna add a little bit of tannin to this. I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of tannin because there is tannin, tannic quality from the skins. This is very floral and like, very nice. I've been wanting to make a banana mead for like so long now. I'm so glad that I'm doing this finally because I do like to leave my vanilla beans in for full extraction. Let me see. Because I have less than a gallon, I mean, that's why I kind of just wanna just do a part of a vanilla bean. So I'm gonna put the other part of this in here, kind of the part with less beans. <laughs> Sanitize my hands again. I'm going to scrape this. This is a really large knife to be scraping. Ooh, that looks good though. <gasps> Look at all those beanies, those little seeds rather. Enough gushing over vanilla. Right, right. Take an eighth. Some wine tan in here. I'm gonna do maybe like a half. I'll put in about a quarter teaspoon lactose. See how I feel about it. Oh, this is also like really dry too. I have to add some honey to this. <laughs> Metafoam might be really nice. All right, let's see if I added enough stuff. There's a definite difference on the nose. That little bit of lactic acid? Yes. Lactose, however, I need a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna do another little eighth of a tisp. I kinda want to use meadow foam in this. 
I always forget that I have these little jars that BC gave me. And I just feel like Meadow Foam just has that nice kind of creamy, marshmallowy goodness that would be delicious with bananas, you know? Ah, ah, I don't know why I started singing. <laughs> ah, I've been waiting to use this for something. Oh boy, it's crystallized. Oh, but it smells good though. I gotta warm this up. I guess I'll start with like four ounces and go from there, you know? I don't wanna add too much. This does need to be a sweet mead. Basically four ounces. And yes, I microwaved it. Don't judge me. All right, here we go. I will also be adding a little bit of um, potassium metabisulfite to protect my mead against oxidation because I just added oxygen to this. And I'm getting a third glass actually so that I can taste step one, step two, and step three. It's the addition of the honey, of course, and compare them. And it's good to be able to taste the differences in your mead, depending on what you're doing. Did I add enough honey? That is the question. Oh, that honey is like perfect for this. I think I need more. I could also add a little bit more lactose because that is a sugar as well to just add even more creaminess, which I'm going to do. <laughs> Three quarters of a teaspoon is now where I am. I think that's enough lactose, enough lactic acid. I added four ounces, I'm gonna add another two ounces. And in case I didn't properly show, this honey is by Glory Bee. Taste test time. It's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. All right, I'm gonna take a gravity now that I've back sweetened because this was bone dry. Even though it was really dry, honestly, like the banana had such a lovely character that like, it's hard to tell it was even like as dry as it was, you know? And for a meat on the sweeter side, this isn't even anything too crazy for me. It's about 1.032. So we have one, two, and three. So remember step one was nothing. This is with the added lactose, tannin, lactic acid, and then this is with the honey. I mean, you can tell it's dry. I guess at this point it wouldn't be bone dry because there were bananas hanging out in it. Because I didn't take a gravity reading, I don't know how much sweetness was imparted by the bananas themselves. But they do leave this like just fruit, floral. It's a little bit confusing almost, the notes that fermented bananas, <laughs> bananas soaking in mead gives you. Okay, so there's that. A little tannin, a little, uh, little lactose, lactic acid here. I mean, this has this like sharper note to it. And then this just gives like more balance, smooths out those uh, sharp edges and does add a nice creaminess to it. And then with the honey, mm. The meadow foam is so complimentary. I'm excited for the vanilla bean to extract because that's gonna be really nice. The higher amount of lactose is really good because it does add more of a creaminess to it. God, the meadow foam complements banana really well. I may or may not add more honey or possibly more lactose to give it more of a dessert vibe. 1.032 is pretty potent, but we'll see. Hmm. So this has been sitting now for almost two and a half months, not quite. 
Look at all this floof. Bananas are messy. So messy. Oh my gosh. And there's so many, there's so many dead bugs in my airlock. Really need to clean that. It's gross. That's why you put sanitized liquid or like some kind of alcohol like vodka in your airlock to make sure that you kill those little buggies. Um, this is very hazy and gross, but we'll see what we can do. Now I have a half gallon here cause I'm guessing <laughs> that's all I'm gonna get. I am going to siphon through a nut bag cause I'm hoping to catch some of the floofs. I don't wanna lose too much mead. But I mean, you know, there's only so much you can do. Woo! Oh God. Okay, that turned out to be perfect. I guess I should have just racked into a bucket because I didn't get any floof. I lost a little bit of mead, which makes me sad. There's of course a little fruit fly floating around. So I'm gonna set this on top. I guess I'm gonna bottle. It's like perfectly clear. I didn't pick anything up. I honestly did not anticipate bottling this today. I thought it was gonna have to clear more, but wow. Okay, well, I made a gallon of this, but not really, I guess. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna wait to taste that, cause I'm gonna bottle. Wow, okay. BRB. Hmm. Oh boy. It's gonna be tricky, cause this thing is very full. I'm a little nervous. Got almost a full uh, 12 ounce bottle here. So I got one, two, three, four, 375 milliliter. Got almost a full 12 ounce bottle and then a little 147 milliliter. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. It really is like, like a banana cream pie. I am thoroughly enjoying this. I'm very happy with this mead right now. All right, here we are with BC from Doing the Most. You know this guy, I'm sure. This is this is a mead flavor combo that I don't think I've ever tried. Ooh. So I'm I'm excited to see how you executed banana cream. I am yep, yeah, I'm excited. Cause this was really good when I bottled it. And uh, so it should still be pretty flipping awesome, I hope. I just put out a video on a banana wine. Oh. So I'm, I'm recently well-versed in, in tasting through banana flavors. You're warmed up. Yeah. Wow, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. It smells like banana cream pie. It does. Like I could smell it before it even got to my <laughs> nose. It's so banana-y. That is, that is a hallmark of a, of a promising mead. It's, it's very strong vanilla like it's this smells like when you go to like a greasy spoon diner and they've got the pies in that little thing that rotates around and you like choose your slice this smells like that slice of banana cream pie yes that's what i was going for i mean it's strong banana big vanilla notes you get a little bit of honey in there mm -hmm. and it smells like pudding <laughs> yes. like, banana like, pudding it, it smells does. like pudding okay we doing that yeah all right That is very mm. smooth. That is very smooth. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that pop of acid in there. Mm -hmm. It's 12%. Keeps it over. bright. I can tell. I've got an empty stomach right now, and it <laughs> it went right to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's not hot. There's not a burn. There's not a sharpness. The acid is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I've heard from folks that they really recommend. I've, I've done a lot of banana ferments, but never really focused on just banana, banana, banana. It's always mm -hmm. kind of been a part of something else. And I've heard from folks that adding a little bit of acid really elevates the banana and I can, you can, it's there. Yeah. It's vibrant mm. in a way that you don't typically think of bananas. This is hella good. And the sweetness level is like really good. Perfect. It's so complex. It's a bit perfumey. Like you get some of those floral notes that kind of jump out in the middle of your palate. Mm. Especially as you swallow, it kind of like washes those perfumey notes down, which isn't, you know, I, it's, maybe it's the meadow foam honey, but yeah, 
Because that added a, a whole layer of yeah. amazing, just that marshmallowy, vanilla y. Oh. This is a real journey. You know, it's rare, and Garrett and I have talked about this in previous tastings, it's rare that you get a mead or a wine that kind of stair steps you through flavor. Mm -hmm. It's like the holy grail, because usually you're kind of sliding flavor to flavor, but this accomplishes that. You, you're like, like banana, acid, floral, sweet, and then there's like a little bit of like a, an I, I don't think you oaked this, but there's a little bit of like a woody oakiness mm -hmm. on the exhale. And it's not a smooth transition. It is, you're stair stepping down. And so yeah. it's like you're going on a little bit of a journey with it. I kind of like that. Yeah. This is very well done. Thank you. Uh, I'm not bullshitting. Like this is, <laughs> this is very well done. It's super interesting. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, I think I think meadow foam is like secret secret sauce on this. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's well executed. Mm, well very done. proud. I feel accomplished. <laughs> yes. da, 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 da. Da, da, no, this is this is excellent, and and I I hope that like every step of the way is documented because I think that if somebody is interested in doing a banana cream mead, yeah they should take a look at these practices because you've nailed the the aromatic specifically. It just like poof, banana cream pie. But that stair step of flavors and the amount of complexity you have here for something that was bottled a month ago is really impressive. And so yeah. if you're interested in banana cream pie, try it out. Watch this video about three more times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. I'm so glad that we were able to do this. This is a great aperitif too. We're about to have dinner. And so like now I've, like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to drink. It's perfect. <laughs> ready to drink or eat? Both. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Check out BC if you haven't. I would be quite surprised. If you Here's a chance. It. Thank you, thank, thank you. Uh, check out all the links below, and uh, you know. But become a become a member or a patron. Support her work. Thank you, I appreciate. She that. deserves it. It would be very very helpful. I was your first ever YouTube member. That's true. You are badge of honor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Number one. Thank you. Mwah. Appreciate you guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>